Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Timmy from Pure Kicks. Welcome back to the channel. You've already read the title. You've already seen that thumbnail. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and breaking down the Nike PG6. Hmm. Let's get it. course before we get into any of that if you're already part of the team you know what you have to do hit that like button to continue helping the channel grow and if you're new here well hit that like button too but of course that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time a new video comes out that's already enough chit chat let's get into this shoe let's talk about the box clouds baby now it's given me a lot of drake nothing was the same and i can't get it out of my head it's got nothing to do with him sorry about that but really we're talking about clouds under the feet. This has been the kind of tagline for PGs for the past couple years now. Hello, welcome aboard. And thank you for flying PG Airways. Our priority on every flight is helping you reach new levels of comfort. So I'm sure this one's no exception. PG and comfort go hand in hand when it comes to issues so far. I'm not mad at that. And I'm sure it's a very important part when it comes to his very own signature shoe when he's on the court. Outside of that, not much thrills to it. Plain and simple, Paul George 6. Great. Now, easily the most defining feature of the box is PG logo kind of wrapping the corner of the box, which is actually what happens on the shoe as well, if you've seen any image that has already come out. So, I guess, spoiler alert, it doesn't happen. Anyway. All right, let's open these up. I'm not gonna act like I ain't already seen them, but maybe it's the first time you have. Now, that being said, they are the first time in my hands in like a couple hours, but they're still clean. I decided to go for the black mint colorway. Why? I just feel like black and popping colors never miss, and I was not wrong. What are you guys telling me? I know I went wrong. The black mint is one of four colorways that have already hit the shelves around the world, including the launch colorway being white crimson, another called Infrared, and a Valentine's Day launch known as Flutters for Valentine's Day. I don't know where that name comes from, but vibes in it. Now, after eye test alone, banging. I'm a big fan. So far, PG and his line, I wouldn't say they've missed. I didn't like 2.5. I kind of disregard that one in my head. But so far, that line is one of them, is probably the most consistent line so far I've seen from Nike basketball in a long, long time. Every shoe so far has been hitting on court and every shoe so far has been hitting in the looks department as well. So I'm not surprised that the six did exactly that. One thing I've always appreciated about the PG line is that they remain to evolve instead of just completely change the shoe. You see things come in and go in and just kind of tweaking a little bit rather than getting a completely brand new shoe every single year. That being said, let's get into the tech. Now, without comparing too much, one of the biggest changes of this shoe is gonna be the cushioning. Nike Strobel is gone. First introduced in the PG4 and then again in the PG5, Nike Strobel replaced the key feature of any shoe and replaced it with a thin air unit directly under the foot. Brought up, clouds. Clouds. Makes sense now, right? Trust me. Now this time around, it looks like they just replaced that cloud with another cloud using Nike React foam throughout the entire midsole. It's set to be bouncy. It's set to be cozy, responsive. All those buzzwords that Nike like to use we should be getting that in a PG6. I'll let you know a little later down the line. But right now, clouds. Moving on up into the upper, there's no real frills. It's all mesh with some leather overlays to add support. Two in the heel, one on the lateral, one in the medial. It's nothing crazy, but just enough to kind of allow it to still be lightweight, breathable and flexible, but then structure up where it needs to. Midfoot strap is integrated into the laces, which gives you lockdown where you need it. I ain't mad at that. And of course, a padded lining to give you that comfort we all deserve. Lastly, talking about the traction. The traction pattern itself is actually inspired by the React Foam itself. They did a similar thing when they were talking about the fours and the fives. Now in the six, it's a unique multi-directional pattern to give you multi-directional traction, plain and simple. The whole pattern is made up of lines, which then make up circular patterns to create the entire traction. Then you have these indented circles, which kind of give off like a suction cup action, while at the same time giving a piston-like effect every time you step on the court. The lines used for the pattern are pretty thick. They kind of protrude out quite far as well. I do see these holding up quite well outdoors, so it wouldn't be the traction to hold out. It'd probably be the mesh to give you problems out there. So right, guys, that's pretty much everything. Just a quick breakdown to show you what we're working with. The PG6 is here and ready to go. Performance review is right around the corner, so please, please sit tight, and I'll get that to you as soon as I can.
that want to get these tried out. Trust me on that. I'm having trouble trying to find a nice court where I can do this. If you know something on someone or somewhere, comment down below, let your boy know. Please. And when you're done with that, make sure you like this video. I appreciate it so, so much. It continues helping the channel grow. And if you're new here, hit that like button still. And of course that subscribe and the bell next to it to get notified every time a new video drops. Welcome to the team. So right guys, that's everything from me. This is the Nike PG6. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.